question number one, part B. We finished uh, one part A, where we were asked to express seven sine two theta minus two cosine two theta in the form r sine two theta minus alpha, and we found r is root 53, and the value of alpha was 15.95, correct to two decimal places as they asked us to give it. Now it says, hence solve for values of theta between zero and 90 the equation 7 cosine 7 sine 2 theta minus 2 cosine 2 theta equals 4 and the reason why it says hence is because you have to use what you've done previously and you can see that they are exactly the same okay you've got 7 sine 2 theta 7 sine 2 theta minus 2 cosine 2 theta minus 2 cosine 2 theta so what we can do here is we can express this in terms of what they ask us to change it to and then that is something we're able to solve as an equation. So if we now take um, root 53, so we're doing part B now. So if we take root 53 times sine of 2 theta minus 15.95, we've got to solve the equation where that is equal to 4. Okay, so first of all, let's divide both sides by root 53. So we have the sine of 2 theta minus 15.95 is equal to 4 divided by the square root of 53. Okay, and we've got to find what um, the angle is. Now, one thing we need to do here is to modify the, the limits. Okay, we've been asked to solve it between 0 and theta. Theta should be 0, between 0 and 90. Okay, and uh, the 90 actually is not included, so get rid of that. Now I need to change the the um, the limits of this so it matches what we have here. So this says theta, this says two theta minus 15.95. So I need to multiply first everything by two, so that will that will give me two theta. Okay, and that will give me zero here still, and then I've got to take away 15.95. So if I have zero minus 15.95, I'll have minus 15.95. This is in degrees. And then I'm going to have to multiply this by 2, so you're going to have 180. 180 minus 15.95. So 180 minus 15.95. So 180, let me bring this in here so you can see, minus 15.95, which gives us. 164.05 164.05 so between that range so that's 2 theta minus 15.95 uh, we have to get all the, the angles between minus 15.95 and 164.05 those are our limits that we have to do it um, okay so we need to find all the angles in that range okay so now we're gonna press shift sign of 4 over root 53. Okay, so 2 theta minus 15.95 is equal to inverse sine of 4 divided by root 53. Okay, so that will give us the first solution from the calculator. I'm going to make sure I'm in degree mode, and the calculator right now is in radian mode, so I must change it into degree mode. Okay. And then I continue, so inverse of sine, so shift sine, 4 divided by the square root of 53. Oops, me, there we are. And that gives me 33.328. So I have 33, let me try and um, make it neater, 33.328. Okay, that's the answer that the calculator gives us. Okay, now we know for sine, I'm going to just um, store that as A. Okay. So, let me just make sure. Oh, that didn't work. second. Inverse sine 
4 divided by square root of 53. Square root of 53. Okay. So I'm going to store that as A. Okay, good. That's stored as A now. All right. Let's make sure. Yeah, okay. So now, that's the first angle. Now, the second angle, okay, for the sine is going to be 180 minus 33.328. Okay, so the first angle you get is the calculator angle, and for sine, it's always 180 minus, okay, the angle that the calculator gives you, which is 146.671. 146.671. So those are the first two angles that we get. Now, all the other angles that we may get would be 360 more or 360 less than each of these. Now, if we take 360 less than 33.328, we're going to go way below this limit. If we take 360 less than 146, we'll also go le less than this limit. If we add 360 to both of these, we're going to go way over that limit. So these are the only two solutions in the range. But that's not for theta, that's for 2 theta minus 15.95. Now what I need to do here is find what theta is. So for each of these angles, I need to take each of these angles. So I need to take 33.328. And I have to add 15.95. And I have to divide by 2. And the second angle, similarly, I take 146.671. Point six seven one. I have to add 15.95 and I have to divide by 2 and those will give me the two solutions that I need okay so my solutions will be so let me take this one 146 plus 15.95 okay and divide it by 2 that gives me 81.3, and we have to write 81.310. Um, that's for the second one. Let me just, just make it neater than this. Sorry about that. Okay, so we have 81, as I said, 81.310. 81.310. And it continues dot, dot, dot. And the other angle we're going to have is, well, let's take our angle answer from the beginning. The answer from the beginning was um, this. We did 180 minus that to give us the angle we wanted. Okay, that was 146.4. Well, the angle in the beginning was actually what we need here, sorry. It's just the angle we need. This is the angle in the beginning. And what we've got to do to the angle is we've got to add 15.95, 15.95, um, and divide by 2. It gives you 24.639. So you've got 24.639. Okay, then we have to check to see um, how, how we have to round the answer. Sometimes they give you a particular instruction as to how to round it. Okay. Um, what does it say? Part B, giving you answers to degrees in one decimal place. Okay, that's actually the standard way of writing degrees to one decimal place. So you've got 24.6 degrees, 24.6 degrees, and you've got 81.3 degrees, 81.3 degrees. And there we have our final answer for this part of the question. Okay, next part in the next video.